Hi, this is Madeline from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of With a Little Help from Max for Life. And this time I want to show you how you can map macros within a rack to anything in the life set, which makes it easier for controlling things on the fly, whether that is for life performance, where it's particularly useful, or, you know, just for music production. So you can change things on the fly when you're working with push or another controller and recording things in the arrangement view, for example. I've got a couple of clips already prepared, so I'm going to just quickly play that so you have an idea beforehand. And here I've got a beatboxing beat and another beat. And I would like to basically be able to turn one off while I'm turning the other one on, you know, fade in and out quickly. And for this, I'm going to use the shaper, but you can also use the LFO. That works pretty much the same way. So let's find the shaper. And I'm going to drag that into the base rack here. And then the first thing I need to do is get rid of the curve because we don't want to use that at all. And the next thing is we're going to take depth all the way down because otherwise the mapping max or min is not going to be fully available. And then we're going to do a right click on the offset and then map that to a macro. I've selected macro 9 here and I'm going to turn it all the way down to the minimum. And then we're going to go and start mapping. And the first thing I would like to map is and the next one, so we've got eight in total that parameters that we can map within the live set, is the volume of track three as well. And then I've already checked, um, like I want to have the maximum volume of track two at minus 6.4 roughly, and I've checked that corresponds to 69%. And since I want to make them fade in and out against each other, I'm going to set this to 74 because that corresponds to the minus 4.4 that I had set as the maximum volume for track three. And then, of course, I'm going to have to take this down all the way to zero. And the last thing I'd like to map to show you how this works well is I'm going to map it to the ubiquitous preset of the arpeggiator. Okay, so now everything should be mapped and we can just have a go and see how that sounds. As you can see and hear, it actually works. Well, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And you're also always welcome to add comments below to let me know what other topics you'd like me to cover. So see you next time. Bye.